Only on Local 5 tonight, shocking courtroom video from a story that's making national headlines. A man this week locked up for nearly two decades for a hate crime in Iowa after stealing and burning an Ames Church's pride flag in June, all while proudly confessing his hatred for the LGBTQ community. A judge sentenced 30-year-old Adolfo Martinez Wednesday to more than 16 years in prison. A Story County jury found Martinez guilty of harassment arson, theft of property, and repeat offender counts in the first ever hate crime verdict in the county's history. Tonight, we bring you exclusive video from that sentencing, the reaction from the church's pastor after Martinez called her out directly in court. Facing nearly two decades in prison didn't seem to phase Adolfo Martinez. Good morning. At a sentencing Wednesday, looking directly into our camera and waving. It's the same confidence he showed at his November trial, admitting he committed crimes of hate with a clear conscience. And I'm not defending my innocence. I did that knowingly, willingly, and intentionally, and go ahead and that deliberately. Wednesday, the courtroom watched in silence as Martinez turned to the church's pastor. I didn't even know who you were. And doubled down on his decision to steal and burn her church's pride flag in June, saying, quote, she should know better than to be gay. Do I hate her? No, 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 but she should know better. The word of God speaks for itself. The LGBT community is an insignificant fraction of a big picture. I'm heart sick to know that there is a church that taught him to speak that way about LGBTQIA people. Pastor Eileen Gebby says she's grateful the Iowa justice system chose to protect her rights as an openly gay woman. The judge ordering Martinez the maximum prison sentence. I think that you need to go to prison for as long of a period of time as possible in order for our community to, to be protected. But Martinez promised to see Gebby when he gets out. Bye, man. Have a good one. I'll see you when I get out. Still struck her to her core. That there's, there's fear. I had a fear response to that. Gebby's fear is the reason Story County attorney Jessica Reynolds chose to prosecute Martinez's actions as hate crimes, even though she says many people still don't understand her decision. I, like you, have received a lot of comments about that where people misunderstand that distinction. After Martinez was convicted in November, several of you wrote to Local 5 and said you thought the punishment might be too harsh, asking if an American flag was burned, would that be considered a hate crime? We asked Reynolds to clarify. If you would go purchase your own American flag and you would burn that as free speech, that that, that would be allowed. And that's true. Just like if you would go purchase your own pride flag and burn your own flag, that would be allowed. Um, however, when you're burning someone else's property, there's a crime right there. But then when you're burning their property because they are a protected class, that is a hate crime. That's the difference in distinction. Pastor Gebby says her faith in God allows her to forgive Martinez. My faith relieves me every day of the burden of hatred. And her faith in the Iowa justice system allows her to feel more safe in her community. As a queer person in central and rural Iowa, I every day expect to have to hide who I am and to receive homophobic comments from people. And here I sat in a courtroom uh, representing my community and that courtroom said this is not okay and it was an astonishing feeling. Martinez lawyers did not argue any type of mental health defense. Gabby's church, the Ames United Church of Christ, is looking into helping Martinez's family by providing financial support for his three children he's leaving behind.